Hey guys, the Cube did here, and today I have a tutorial on the Red Dragon Smart Egg. So for those of you that don't yet know how to solve the blue one and want a tutorial, go ahead and click on the basket. I will have a black tutorial soon. However, I've yet to figure that out as of this video. So I'm just going to jump straight into the tutorial. What you're going to do is you're going to start out with the bottom the exact same way you started it out with on the blue. Basically, you're going to follow this along the whole egg, and you're going to make a 90 degree angle with the bottom, like that. So that's that way, and then this is straight up. So what you're going to do is uh, my ring finger is again on this bottom half. I'm going to put this down, and it won't go straight down, but I'm going to turn this, uh, the bottom half, clockwise with my ring finger, and then it's going to drop down with the bar. Then you're going to move it to the right, and then move this whole entire thing to the left. Then push it all the way through. Push this up. Pull this toward you all the way, then move it to the right, and then move the bottom again to the left, and then you're going to angle it down and then push it through. Then what you're going to do is you're going to push this up, move it over, pull it through, move it back over and push it against the wall, and then push this in, and then pull this out, and then push it straight down. Then you're going to put it through this wall, or through this hole, pull it through, angle it up, push it all the way. Now you should see it through here. I don't really know if you can, but if you have it in front of you, I can see the ball right there. Then we're going to pull this down. With I did it with my ring finger, but if you want, you could like hold it and pull it down like that. Then you're going to pull it toward you, and then push it up. Put this, uh, push that thing up. Then you can push this through. Don't push it through all the way, though. You're going to pull this down, and then you're going to push this. Now we're going to pull it through. Then you're going to push it up push it against the egg, pull it down, push it toward you, then push it up, then move it around, push it through, move it around, push it through, uh, go down, left, push it through here, close that, pull it toward you, go down, push it through here, don't push it through all the way, close it, then you're gonna move it around, and then pull it through and push it down, then flip, Put it to the right, push it all the way in, and move this this way. Now uh, it should be lined up with this half circle right here. Push it through, it should drop. Not all the way though, there should be a little gap. Put it all the way around, push it or pull it through. Now it should be able to close all the way, and then move it along with the top and pull it out. So as you can see, this is a little bit more challenging than the blue one, and it's, it has a different technique. And uh, I just want to sort of explain the technique. I have this piece of paper. It's kind of hard to explain. But imagine if this ball was bigger, and um, I pushed it through here, and it wouldn't go through this part right here, through this little channel. So what you have to do is you have to put it through, and then only move... Okay, imagine this whole entire paper, piece of paper is this thing, this part. So you're going to put it through and then move just that part, so I'm not moving the wand, and then pull it through a different layer. That's what you have to do. So a lot of the time when I'm saying to push it all the way at the end and then pull it, that's what I'm doing. And then when you pull it back and push it up, then you're moving it up a whole nother layer. So I'm going to go over it uh, quickly one more time, and then I'll go ahead and do an example solve. That's sub 30, hopefully. So again, I'm going to start it out with it lined up like that. Straight down, turn the bottom, Move it all the way down to the right, turn that, push it through, close, pull it toward you, around to the left, angle it down, push through, up, around, pull through, back around, push against the wall, close it. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult, but you don't ever want to force any of these things. Push it, uh, then pull it toward you, move it straight down, push it through here, angle it down, push it against the wall. This is where this thing comes into handy, or that mechanism sort of takes play in here. Uh, push it against the wall, pull it down, pull it toward you, move it up, push it through, pull this toward you, pull this toward you, push it against the wall, pull it toward you, pull this toward you, the wand, close it. Move it around, push it through, move it around, push it through, down, left, through, close it, back, straight down, 
uh, push it through this hole, move it around, close it, pull it through, move it straight down or flip it, move it to the right, push it against the wall, and turn it with this, then push it through, and then push it all the way around, through this, close that, and then there you go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do an example solve for you guys. All right, so I hope this tutorial helped you guys out with the Red Dragon Smart Egg. It is a bit more challenging than the blue one, and if you don't know how to do the blue one yet, and you don't have it, I would highly recommend you get it. If you have it and you don't know how to do it, go ahead and click on the basket right now, and that'll bring you to the Blue Dragon Smart Egg. There will be a Black Dragon Smart Egg tutorial soon. I have yet to figure it out, or I figured it out once, but I'm trying to figure it out again so I can make a tutorial on it, because in the beginning I did something random and I forgot how I did it. If you want to purchase your own smart eggs, there will be all three of these two-layer smart eggs on the cubicle.us very soon. There is a chance that it is already on the site. There's a small chance it's not. I will have links down in the description once they have them on the site, though. So go ahead and check down there and purchase them yourself. They're $20 each. They will also have the six small one-layer eggs on their site that are not worthy of a tutorial because they're not as challenging as these two-layer eggs. But anyways, I would highly recommend you guys go get those. Those will be on the site a tiny bit later than the two-layer eggs, I believe. But anyways, keep checking their website, keep checking the description, and if there are links, click on them and buy them. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. This video's question is, are you guys going to be getting a red, black, or blue egg, or even any of the smaller eggs? I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching.